everyone this is shailu and i'm here to present you an another interesting video and it's about cost estimation for one column for better understanding watch this video until last first let us see the footing size Square footing 4 feet into 4 feet that is 1.2 meter into 1.2 meter. Footing reinforcement. Diameter of bar is 12 mm and the spacing is 6 inch center to center distance. Column size. Length of column is 260 mm and breadth of column is 330 mm. Main bar reinforcement dia is 12 mm and the lateral ties that is ring bar or stirrups is 8 mm. What are all the steps required? Step 1. Total bar length for footing. Step 2. Total bar length for column. Step 3. Total bar length for lateral ties. Step 4. Total weight of steel. Step 5. Cost estimation for one column. Step 1. Total bar length for footing. First let us find length of one bar. We know that footing length is 4 feet. Footing clear cover is 50 mm that is 2 inch. Now we have to find this length. To find this length we have to use this formula. Footing length minus clear cover. On both sides is equal to 4 feet minus 4 inch. When we solve this we get the answer 3 feet 8 inches. That is 1.1176 meter. Hence length of one bar is equal to 1.4224 meter. Reduction for bent. If we bend the bar, length will be reduced. Here, the bar is bent at 90 degree angle. For 90 degree bend, we have to take as 2D, where D is the diameter of bar. Here, the bar dia is 12 mm. Therefore, reduction of bend is equal to total length of bar minus 2 into 2D. How this value 2 came here? Because the number of bends are 2. That's why I have written here 2. When we solve this, we get the answer 1.374 meter. How many number of bars provided? Number of bars is equal to footing length upon spacing plus 1. We know that the footing length is 4 feet and the spacing is 6 inches. First we have to convert to meter. Note 1 feet is equal to 0 0.3048 meter. 1 inch is equal to 0 0.0254 meter. When we solve this, we get the answer as 9 number of bars. Therefore, at x-axis, we have to provide 9 number of bars and also at y-axis, we have to provide 9 number of bars since it is a square footing. Therefore, total number of bars is equal to 9 plus 9, so we get 18 number of bars. Total bar length for 14. 
to find total bar length for 14 the formula is length of one bar into number of bars when we solve this we get the answer 24.732 meter step 2 total bar length for column length of one bar this is the ground level the height of column above ground level is 10 feet and below ground level is 4 feet and the bend length of rod is 2 feet therefore when we add this we get the answer 16 feet on top of column also we have bent the column for about 6 inches so total length of one bar is equal to 16 feet 6 inches that is 5029 mm reduction for bend this is single rod here there are two numbers of 90 degree bends where are those 90 degree bends you can see here one two for 90 degree bend we have to take as 2 into d reduction for bend is equal to length of one bar minus 2 into 2d here also i have written 2 why i have written here 2 because there are two numbers of 90 degree bends when we solve this we get the answer 4981 mm how many number of bars provided 1 2 3 and 4 number of bars is equal to 4 therefore total bar length for column is equal to number of bars into length of one bar is equal to 4 into 4981 when we solve this we get the answer 19.924 meter step 3 total bar length for lateral ties you can see in this picture this is called as lateral ties or ring bar or stirrups first let us find cutting length of one bar to find this there is a formula 2 into a plus b plus hook length minus bends firstly we have to find these components separately let us see how to find these components separately length of column is 260 mm we know that column cover is equal to 40 mm and also the diameter of stirrups is equal to 8 mm first we have to find a what is a in this diagram a is the inner to inner distance between stirrups to find this distance a the formula is length of column minus 2 into clear cover minus 2 into dia of stirrups when we solve this we get the answer 164 mm next we have to find the distance b b is also the inner to inner distance between stirrups for that the breadth of column is 330 mm to find b the formula is breadth of column minus 2 into clear cover minus 2 into dia of stirrup when we substitute the values we get the answer 234 mm next we have to find hook length how to find this hook length first we have to see how many number of hooks are here there are two numbers of hooks the diameter of stirrup is 8 mm hooks are bent at 135 degree angle if the hook is bent at 
135 degree angle we have to take as 10d where d is the diameter of stirrup so 2 into 10 into d when we solve this we get the answer as 160 mm next we have to find bends bends means other than the hook bend because already we have found out the hook bend other than hook bend there are three numbers of bends here we have to consider 90 degree bend how many numbers of 90 degree bends are here 1 2 3 There are three numbers of ninety degree bends. For ninety degree bend, we have to take as two into d, where d is the diameter of stirrup. Therefore, the formula is three into two into d. When we solve this, we get the answer as forty-eight mm. Now substitute all those values here in this formula. to find cutting length of one bar we know this formula that is 2 into a plus b plus hook length minus bends when we solve this we get the answer as 0.908 meter this is the cutting length of one bar number of rings to find number of rings there is a formula total height of column upon spacing between rings that is lateral ties plus 1 is equal to 14 feet upon 6 inches plus 1 now convert to meter note 1 feet is equal to 0.3048 meter when we solve this we get the answer as 29 number of rings total bar length of rings is equal to cutting length of one bar into number of rings when we solve this we get the answer as 26. 332 meter step 4 total weight of steel that is for footing and column first we have to find total length of bar is equal to total bar length of footing plus total bar length of column when we substitute the values we get the answer 44.656 meter now we have to find weight of bar per meter to find weight of bar there is a formula d square l upon 162 where d is equal to 12 mm and l is equal to 1 mm when we substitute the values we get the answer as 0.889 kg weight of steel for footing and column is equal to total length of bar into weight of bar per meter is equal to 39.699 kg of 12 mm bar for lateral ties total length of ring bar is equal to 26.332 meter weight of rod per meter is equal to 0.395 kg that is for 8 mm rod weight of ring bar is equal to 10.401 kg of 8 mm bar therefore total weight of steel is equal to 39.699 kg plus 10.401 kg is equal to 50 kg of steel step 
cost estimation for one column. Items, quantity, unit cost, total cost in rupees. Excavation, steel, shuttering work, pouring concrete, labor charge for bar bending, labor charge for pouring concrete. Listen that the values I have provided here are only the approximate values. Excavation, quantity 1, only 1 column so I have provided here 1. Unit cost for this is only 500 rupees because only one person is enough to excavate for one column. So the total cost is 1 into 500, 500. For steel we have found out the quantity 50 kg. In our area approximately for 1 kg of steel the rate is rupees 50. So I have written here 2500. And for shuttering work also 500 rupees. All those values are only approximate values. Pouring concrete. Approximate value is 0.7 meter cube. For ready mix concrete in our area the rate is rupees 4500. And when we solve this we get the answer 3150. For labor charge also only one person is needed for bar bending. So I have charged 500 rupees. And for pouring concrete also only one person is enough. So I have charged rupees 600. So total cost 7750. This cost varies from place to place. Therefore cost of one column approximately lies between rupees 7000 to rupees 9000. If you like this video kindly do subscribe click the bell icon share this video and to support my channel civil engineering shilos updates if you have any query mail me at Shilos updates at gmail.com. Thank you.